Hey everybody, I'm Colorful and welcome to Cave Story Plus. It's like an action platformer RPG hybrid kind of game. A little bit like Mega Man, but kind of different. Made by literally one guy. It's on Steam and it's a great game, so you should pick it up and play it if you feel like it. It is rather hard though, so do keep that in mind. So, the fun fact about this Let's Play is I recorded... I think like eight episodes or something um, before starting to like actually edit the episodes and then upload them. So I made it very, very far in this game, like almost to the end before I realized OBS was not recording any of it. It was only recording a black screen. So I actually have to start completely from scratch. So that's fun. Also, because it's uh, Cave Story Plus, we've got some uh, optional changes. For example, the music. We can do the original music. As you can see, it's a bit lower quality. There's the new music, which was used on the WiiWare version, which I'm not a fan of. I personally like the remastered soundtrack a lot. There are also the original graphics and then the new ones. The new ones are literally just updated sprite models. They look better. All right. So you can see there's like challenges and then curly story, whatever that is. That's basically where you play as like a different character, but it's the same game. I was originally planning on doing curly story, but now that I've... So, like, kind of done it. I'm actually just going to do the regular mode. It's less confusing if you don't know this game at all. Alright, looks like we're going to have to delete one of these files. I will delete that one. That is my file. So, we are starting a new game. So, there are three different difficulties. There's easy, which, even then, it's still fairly tough. Uh... But that's what is best for new new time players. Original, if you've played Cave Story before, this is a good difficulty to do. And then hard mode. I don't recommend doing hard mode because you can play for the whole game with only three HP, which means just about everything is a one-hit kill. And this is a hard game, so I'm gonna do original mode. Someone's transmission. Connecting to network. Logged on. Starting IM chat. Sue, are you there? It's me. It's Kazuma! I was somehow able to escape, but I got lost. I'm in a shelter without anything inside. If you're reading this, please answer. Please? So, what I like about Cave Story is you just dive right on in. Like, there's no really, like, intro story. You just dive in and get thrown into the plot, which is great. So this is a helpful computer. It completely refills your uh, HP, and then this is a save. Rule number one for Cave Story, save a lot. If you find a floppy disk, you better save at it. Also, we are totally defenseless at the beginning, and we are playing as this little guy. And that's literally all we know right now. So this is the first cave, those spikes are instant death, so we gotta avoid them. Thankfully, our little character can jump quite high. Also, that's a life capsule! Pick these up if you see them! Because they increase your max life by 3, so we now have double the HP, essentially. Yeah, those are not in hard mode, so you can imagine how fun that is. And because we don't have any weapons of any kind, we're just avoiding all the enemies. Also, you've got a limited air supply, so try to stay out of water, as it also slows you down. And here's the Hermit Gunsmith. He is asleep, so let's steal his gun. I love that fanfare. We get the Polar Star. Someone's transmission. Searching for Sue. One Sue found. Sue! Answer me! They're looking for you. Are you asleep or what? Your brother is so lonely. So that's interesting. But more on him later. So here we have our first gun of the game, the Polar Star. It's okay. As far as, like... In this game, we'll get plenty of weapons. The Polar Star is not terribly great, but what's interesting about Cave Story is that you can level up your guns, and they get better as you level up. They all cap at three, and you can't, but they can also lower in a level if you take damage. So basically, you, we need to kill enemies to get experience points, and then if we take damage from enemies, we will lose experience points. As you can see, that little triangle there is an EXP point. Oh man, and he dropped a heart when I didn't need it. Also. Unlike Mega Man, which is what you're probably used to me playing, we can shoot straight up and straight down. We can't duck or shoot on a diagonal, but that's still pretty revolutionary. 
being able to shoot straight up. At this point in the game, pick up all the experience you see. Because the sooner you get the Polar Star to max level, the better it gets. Because it really stinks when it's at level 1. Once again, got to avoid the spikes. This game is just filled with hazards. And yes, I am going back here just to save. This game is deadly, especially at the very beginning, when you have like hardly any HP. But it doesn't get really get less deadly. Also, you'll notice the Polar Star does not have very much range. You get slight better, slightly better range when you level it up, but not by much. Also, this door is actually a monster that you need to kill. And that is the only door in the game that is like that, interestingly enough. Come on, Sue! Type something, will you? Starving over here. I'm so hungry that that I even ate a cockroach. Oh, well, just kidding. But just so you know, if I get to that point, I'll do it. Give me the key. No way! Are you trying to protect that Sue girl? She's an outsider. Sue is a good person. I won't betray Sue. Taroko. The next time that the doctor shows up, someone else will be taken away. If Sue isn't turned in, you could be in danger. B but Just hand over the key! Well, things just got interesting. Don't cower, little bunny thing. What? You're not an enemy? I thought you were one of them. My name is Keen. I'm the number one in this village. Though I say number one, it doesn't really mean much. There are only six of us left in this village. Well, really... Including Sue, it's seven, but she's not one of us. She's just an outsider that came into our village. That Taroko? She took advantage of this situation and escaped. So, welcome to Mimiga Village. Those little rabbit things are Mimiga. Up, Yamashita Farm, left reservoir, right cemetery, down, office house. More save points, yay! I love the graphics in this game. Very beautiful 2D graphics. Assembly Hall. There's nothing really in here. Flames bellow in the fireplace, there's something on the other side, but we can't get to it yet. But remember that, we'll need to get it later. The Mega Cemetery currently closed due to hazards. The name's Jack. I'm the number two in the village. Beyond here is the Mega Cemetery. There, our hero Arthur rests eternally in peace. What am I doing here? Mushrooms have taken over the Mega Cemetery, so I'm keeping watch to make certain that they don't come into the village. Good for you, man. I'm not giving up my gun, by the way. Oh yeah. We drop down here, jump and jump again. We get the map system. I probably will never use this because I already know everything pretty well, but it's important to get anyways. Something's written. So long as you always maintain a sense of exploration, you will someday find the way out. That is my hope. So this gives us a nice little map of Mimiga Village. It gives you a map of any cave you're in, really, which is nice. We still have people to meet, though. Arthur's house. It's locked. Great. Mmm, gulp. Jeez, you scared me. Sue? Oh, you mean that girl staying at Arthur's house, right? She lives together with Taroko. That girl's a real cutie. She must be looking for flying dragons. Wonder if there really is such a thing. Dragons that fly in the sky. Interesting. Yeah, I like this game because the plot is just... Like, you're thrown straight in the middle of it, you don't really know what's going on, and then you just slowly get introduced to more and more concepts. It's very well done. Even if the platforming and mechanics can get a little bit annoying at times. Sue? Yeah, Sue! That cute girl who's always hiding inside Arthur's house? She recently came to Mimiga Village. She fell into the reservoir there. I don't think she's very fond of us. It seems like she hates everyone in the village, but she's a Mimiga. Same as the rest of us. Interesting. Also, sparkly fane. Something shines brightly. We get the silver locket. I'm basically pushing down every time I want to examine something. That's how you do it. Alright. Die fish. Yeah, you'll see our air is very rapidly running out. You do not want to get zero air, because then you die. Wah! There's Taroko. Hand over that key! 
No! Arg! Taroko, don't underestimate me. Definitely don't underestimate Kane. He is amazing and really cool. He's one of my favorite characters in this, to be perfectly honest. Also, very catchy music. It's the shack. You jerk! What did I do? Hey. Wah! Oh, help me, help me! Huh? You're not the doctor? Oh, sorry about that. The doctor is such a cruel and evil person. He shows up in the village and kidnaps Mamiga, at times even killing someone. But doctor, he killed my older brother. Ah! That pendant! You picked it up for me? Sue gave it to me! But I don't want it anymore. King gets bent out of shape when Sue and I get along. Please keep it. What the heck is going on here? Oh yeah! Kool-Aid guy! I found you! It's no use hiding from me. I've got the nose of a clever harrier. Indeed. Yes, he has the nose and the brain of a dog. Misery! I found her first! You two, you're with the doctor! You must be Sue. The great doctor has summoned you. Come along with me. Huh? But I'm not Sue! Where? Balrog, the rest is up to you. I'm the wrong person! I told you! Not this again! I always have to clean up! And I'm the one who found her, not Misery! So what's up? You want to fight me with that little pea shooter? So interesting thing here, if you say yes, then you end up in a boss fight. If you say no, he'll actually just take off and you can leave, like, without having to fight him. But if you beat him, you get experience for your gun, so I'm gonna fight him. Understood! Hey, Balrog. He's basically like a, a fat version of the Brave Little Poster. It's awesome. So just don't let him touch you. Pretty simple first boss fight. Ow! I did not expect him to do that. Well, I might not actually end up getting experience in the long run for this battle. I'll remember this! We defeated Balrog, which is a really awesome name for a flying toaster. Let's see, I actually don't think- Oh yes, I did! I got the level 2 gun, now it shoots two bullets at once and is slightly slight- Actually, it's got quite a bit more range. That's cool. Still much better at level 3, though. Also, this is a shorter game. I, I picked a shorter game because uh, I don't really... After this, I don't really want to start any new Let's Plays until 2017. Also, shorter game means shorter episodes. What? Taroko's been kidnapped? Bah. Now the only girl left in the entire village is Sue. What a jerk. Taroko's a sweet girl, and you're just like, oh man, there's less females now. Kane and Jack have got to hear about this. Well, Kane left. Assembly Hall. Kane! Arthur's house key? There should be at least one more copy somewhere. Taroko, she feigns ignorance. I wonder, maybe Jack would know something. Dude, she's been kidnapped. I don't want to know about Arthur's house key. Wow, he's not... Okay. Hey, Jack. What did you say? Taroko's been kidnapped? That's terrible. We have to inform Kane. I, I tried, dude, but he wouldn't listen. He's just like, oh yeah, the, ca the key is somewhere. Well, we can go in the cemetery now. Oh, cute little mushrooms. They also hurt. Oh, Ninja Frog. I forgot about Ninja Frog. Let's jump behind him. Wow, he got a lot of HP, considering it's this early in the game. Arthur's grave. Something is written on the headstone. Here rests the true Mimiga hero, Arthur. And we get Arthur's key! I don't know why he buried his house key in with his actual body, but whatever! Also, you can open up your inventory here. 
Polar Star, your very first gun, it carries the mark of the Northern Star. And then the important items go in your inventory. You don't often have to pull that up, but occasionally you do. Not Taroko 2! Taroko's older brother, Arthur, was our strongest warrior, but he was killed by the doctor himself. I wasn't even able to protect Taroko. Poor Kane. There are two keys to Arthur's house. Taroko has one of them. The other is inside Mimiga Cemetery. So Sue's just locked in her house. Okay, that's cool. Well, good thing I've got this key. And there's no one here. Text is displayed on screen. Kazuma. But just so you know, if I get to that point, I'll do it. Allow teleportation to Egg Corridor? Well, yeah, sure, might as well. Egg Corridor is now accessible via the teleport. Also, there's this bottom area. Flowers? Yep, there are destroyed red flowers down there. How interesting. Uh -huh. Yeah, I think we'll end this episode off here. I'm going to try to make it kind of like 15 to 20 minute videos for Cave Story Plus. Maybe half hour, depending on how things go. Thanks for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. I hope to uh, you tune in for the next episode. We're going to the Egg Corridor, whatever that is. Have a great day, and God bless.